few years ago, we came up with the technology that allowed us to build medical grade tissues for building functional, architecturally and physiologically correct tissues for a number of purposes, among uh, them being drug development, uh, drug testing, and eventually, of course, building replacement organs. The technology that underlies this building of the tissues, the functional tissues, and that's bioprinting. And what you see here on, your, on, the, on the left panel is a true building of a blood vessel by this technology. And on the right, you see uh, the caricature of it. What it really boils down to is that you take what's called bioing particles uh, that contain the appropriate cells for the particular tissue you want to build. And then uh, you lay down with a special purpose machine, the bioprinter. It's a three-dimensional printer. Uh, the uh, configuration, the architecture that corresponds to the structure you want to build. And in this case, this is a blood vessel. So we asked the question, if we can build medical grade tissues, we should be able to build tissues for other purposes. Imagine if we could build leather products or, or meat without killing animals, using much less resources, energy, water, land, eventually in a much more environmentally friendly way, using much less chemicals, and as I said, without harming the animals. So this is what the second company, Modern Meadow, is trying to do. Take this technology, this tissue engineering technology, and adapt it to building proteins, well, in the case of meat, or consumer goods like leather with this tissue engineering te technology. In France, it will be more difficult to convince people to eat this meat, but, uh, uh, but I, I personally believe that at, at, at some point we will not have a choice. So we better warm up to this idea that uh, cultured meat is coming. So, so how do we do it? So here is the process that Modern Meadow follows, and you will find some of the processes that are common to bioprinting. So we isolate the cells from the animal. Uh, the animal is a happy camper after, afterwards. So with a, with a harmless biopsy, we scoop up a few million cells. Uh, in the case of leather, that would be uh, skin cells or other specialized cells that produce the underlying material. Uh, in the case of meat, those are muscle cells. We grow those muscle cells up for the meat, and that's the challenge. We need to do it relatively fast, uh, economically, in an economically viable way. Then comes the, the magic. We need to construct the tissue. We need to construct the tissue that eventually will give rise to the meat. I ate such a piece of tissue, muscle tissue, in 2011, back in time. Uh, since then, we've done it several times. I'm still alive, I'm here. Uh, it was not the tastiest at that time, but we have made progress. <laughs>